I actually do kind of like this gun. It turned out good. What? What the heck? Huh. Okay. 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 Are you messing with me? Like what's going on? What do you want from me? a new suppressor what what do you want me to do that was all new stuff you want me to destroy this thing do you give me a sign Stop it! Welcome to Demolition Ranch. As you guys saw in a previous episode, we pimped this gun out. I put on uh, Instagram, I said, you guys want me to pimp this thing out or destroy it? Thinking that everyone would say destroy. And 74% of people said pimp it out. So we did, we put several thousand dollars worth of stuff on a really dumb gun. This is a pump action AR-15, which is really dumb, it's just stupid. So I did what you guys wanted out of respect for you and respect for democracy. And I actually kind of liked it. It made this gun tolerable. But then as you saw, the ranch was not pleased. And the ranch does what the ranch wants and the ranch does what is right. And it will not let me fire this abomination. So we're gonna go back to torturing it. I think it's the only way. The ranch wants me to take all this stuff off though, so we're gonna do that. Done, ha <laughs> ha, we got it. Uh, we got it all back to its original stupid form. Uh, looks really dumb again. And actually it does kind of look cool. It just is really dumb. So this is a pump action AR from Troy. There is no buffer tube, there's no buffer spring. Every time you fire, you have to pump a new round in. So, I bought this gun because I wanted to do a torture test, and then we didn't do it, you're welcome, and then the ranch is forcing us to do it. I would not normally go against you guys, but you know, we need to keep the ranch happy out here. So we're going to torture test this thing, and because it is a pump action, it actually, it may do fairly well. Because normally, if you get a little dirt in the springs or anything that's adding extra friction, that firing round does not have enough energy to all the time get them all the way back, cycle it, put a new round in. But this one has me powering it and I'm super powerful. So it actually may be fine. We're going to function test it first, fire like 10 rounds through it just to make sure that it does work. And before we start our test, control group. Uh, I have no sight, so we're gonna see what we can do. Okay, hit. That's loud. Pretty, pretty good. Oh, that was high. There it is. No big deal. No sight. Hitting that little target. Oh, it does function. Ten rounds straight through it. Now we're going to start the torture test, and we have a standardized method of testing here. We're going to do it similarly to the Century AK torture test we did last. Test one. Uh, the ranch test. This is actually not ranch dressing. It's demolition ranch gun lube, but also you can put it on your salad. It works good. It's in a Walmart near you. Okay, we're just gonna lube this thing up. Uh, ranch, as you know, is very oily, so it works really good. So let's go ahead and we'll pop this thing apart and get it all lubed up right now. When you're lubing guns, you wanna make sure you get the trigger group uh, real lubed up because there's a lot of friction points in there. All the components that move around, make sure they get plenty of gun lube on them. And not only will your gun function really well, it's gonna smell amazing. 
with this. Yeah, that, that already feels a lot better, so that, that should be good. Now you also want to lubricate your bolt. This is a weird one. It's like a half bolt with this strange system, but we're just gonna get some right in. Yep, that ought to do it right there. Oh, wow. Man, freaking buttery smooth. So that is good. We'll go ahead and put her back together and see how she runs now. Oh yeah, Psh. this is gonna be great. We got five rounds here. Let's see if our lube helps. I don't even think I need sights. Also, look how clean she is. That's great. All right, test number one, the Demo Ranch gun lube. That's a pass. Test number two. <laughs> mm. Test number two, we got a new mag here. We're gonna get it a little muddy and see how she runs. This, uh, I think it'll be pretty good. It's a mostly closed system here. We got some good stuff. Yep, mm-hmm. Let it run up that mag well a little bit. Go ahead and get it on the other side too. Yeah, this is some good stuff. The good thing about my Demo Ranch Gun Lube is it actually keeps the mud away. So it does a really good job of sealing out mud. And so that's why you should buy it. So that didn't, that didn't really feel good. There's a round, it did catch around. I don't know if that got it or not. Let's see. Yep. Oh man, it does not want to close. That one did not catch around. Ugh. Oh no, it did. It shoved it in there. First failure. There's, there's one in the chamber but I can't get it to close. That might've got it. Nope. Did our firing pin hit? No, no dent on our primer there. We are having some problems with the dirt. Yeah, it's shoving around in, but it can't close on it. Our bolt's not closing all the way. And now it can't even get that round. We're gonna have to get some water and see what we can do here. There's still a round in the chamber. I wanna see if we can Okay, this is not the Demo Ranch Gun Lube's fault, guys, because it never fails. It's something else for sure. Ah, that's a failure. That's a big, a big fat failure. Definitely not passing on this one. We're gonna have to take it apart, clean the junk out, and pull that round out of the chamber. It just had mud like caked in there. I think that is all we need to do. Moment of truth. Luckily, we still got all of our ranch lube in the bottom half. Oh, there's still a round in there, I forgot. <laughs> oh, it's still not closing. Dang, we're gonna have to really get aggressive and clean this thing out. Big, big fail. A oh, man, I just really thought this one was gonna be good because it's a pump, but turns out the gun is stupid in every single way. We slammed it into the ground, like hit the, bird cage on the ground. We got it to close. I'm a little nervous. It's going to explode though. Fire it. Okay. Let me go ahead and load that mag in. So that one's doing the same thing. Here's what we did to get it to go in. That did it. Dang it! <laughs> I missed the rock. This is a dumb gun. I don't think that worked. I did. All right, it's time for a big clean because uh, that was a big fail. We're back. Whoa. Almost fell over. We uh, just sprayed it with a water hose. That's all I did, and now it closes well. Like I just went and just like, really sprayed it. Actually, I did. I got a brush. I brushed a little bit, but like, I mean, it's still very dirty. You can see we did not do a deep clean. So now, just need to re-oil it since we did take a little bit of the lube out and then we will be good to go, I think. We're gonna run five rounds through it, see if it works. We have a functioning AR again. Now it's on to test number three. The glitter test. This is actually the most telling thing we've ever done. Glitter, as you guys know, gets into everything. It's super fine. Wow, it's gonna blow all over. Super fine, gets everywhere, and just messes everything up. 
messes your whole life up. Man, be careful with the glitter. You can go down here around the sides of that mag, put some in here, that'll really mess things up. And uh, a little sprinkle down here, a little spritz. Predictions, will the glitter stop the AR? Oh, it's so gross. What sucks is like, this just gets all over me too. Like I have, I have glitter on me for days after one of these. Oh, that seemed like it ran great. Glitter messes up semi-autos. I don't think it's gonna do anything to this. <laughs> I felt it just shoot glitter all over me. Ow. God. Yeah. That's nasty. So, hold on, there's a, there's an airplane. We'll just wait for the sound. All right, on to test number four. Test number four is the drop test. We're 4,000 feet up, and I'm gonna drop this AR into my giant manhole. We're gonna do three drops. We do the butt drop, the side drop, and the muzzle drop. So right now, butt straight into my manhole. Oh, man, that was, that was a solid one. Let's see how it looks. That's all the damage I can see. It chipped off a little piece there. Side test. Side test. Ah! Nothing that my manhole can't handle. And lastly, diving head first into my manhole. As you can see, my manhole Totally fine, unscathed. This thing, uh, yeah, it looks pretty good too. This is getting real floppy back here, but otherwise looks good. Cycles, uh-oh, we have a dead trigger, so I can, it's on safe, and that's on fire. Okay, we have a problem. Maybe we broke something in there, or maybe we knocked some glitter into a place it shouldn't be. That's the worst. I just realized that pin is walking out, so I think our, yeah, that pin's just not straight anymore. So I think if I get that back in there, hopefully it'll all work. Something kicked that pin out. I don't know what it could have been. Oh, it's really stuck. And there's ranch all over the place. Oh, this whole trigger group is like cockeyed right now, so I just need to put a little, force on it and then like gently tap that pin back in. Right, we got it figured out. We got that pin straight and now. Sounds weird. I don't know. Also, this is very floppy now. You can see a lot of a lot of play in there. And also this is loosening up. Anyway, she's a wobbly girl. Let's see if she fires. Oh, that was a dirty mag. We're gonna call that a pass. On to test number five. Five, four, five. What test is it? Five. Nailed it. The fifth test is the drag test. and scratch it. Oh, handguard's a little, man, what happened here? This 
still could work. <laughs> so the bolt doesn't go all the way back. So we can't put a mag in, ow, this thing just pinched me, ow. So we can't put a loaded mag in there, but I think I can hand load. So like we'd still be in the fight is my theory, which actually is exactly how it happened with, oh, that one. Oh yeah, that's how it happened with the uh, AK we did as well. Like you could still get it to fire, just not fast. And ejected. Okay, I'm surprised. Like we still are running. <laughs> we'll do one more. See if she runs, but it's looking like success. Ow, it pinched me again. It's a dumb gun. Pigeon, what do you think? I agree. Like it did better than I thought, but I don't know, is this done? Like, how do you really call it done? Like, it doesn't, it's not easy to fight with, but you still could fight with it. Let's go over what's broken. Uh, this is very floppy, and upon inspection, you can see it lost the bottom half of that pin, sheared it, so we're hold, held on by just this one pin. It's held on pretty good. Does still fold, still a side folder, but yeah, it's, it's getting pretty loose. Uh, this, Oh, it's stuck. It just ripped the whole handguard off, which the handguard also has that pump integrated, but it still kind of works, as you can see. I just can't get all the way to the back with the bolt. But otherwise, I mean, some of the pins are a little loose, but otherwise everything's good. Safety still works. Can't fire, can't fire. Trigger group still works. The grip is loose, but probably could be tightened up, still on there. Everything's dirty. So what can we sum up from this experience? Basically, you can sum up that Demolition Ranch Gun Lube is the best gun lube on the market, better than everything you've ever seen, and if you don't buy it now, you're gonna regret it later. Isn't that right, Pigeon? Hey guys, let me know if you like these torture tests, and let me know what guns you want to see us torture next. We actually have a few companies who have taken us up on the challenge and are sending guns our way because they think their guns are the toughest. So let me know if your favorite gun is worth being torture tested on Demo Strange. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Demo Strange. I love you, and I'll see you next time. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> it's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell mayor.